So this tutorial is designed to make it easier and more organized for you uh, when you're importing all of your raw clips from a video shoot into Final Cut to begin editing. Now what happens is in a lot of cases, and I've had this happen to myself, sometimes when we record out in the field and we're recording a bunch of video clips onto our SD cards, we start to have these numerous amounts of files, video files, that we're, we try to import into Final Cut. And while a lot of us get, can get away with doing that when we import our clips into Final Cut, it is a, it gets very messy and very disorganized because you could end up losing clips. Clips may be in different folders and it just becomes one big mess. So this tutorial is designed to archive your clips in Final Cut so that you basically take all of your clips that you record from onto your SD card and archive it into one centralized archive file. So with that being said, I'm going to get started with how you archive here. So you go to File, Import Media. Once you open up Final Cut. Now what you want to do is you want to save your arc. You want to name your archive. So if, in my case, I put John's SD archive just to make it uh, more relevant to this tutorial. So as you'll notice, once I do that, you'll see this circle start to fill in gradually. And what it's doing is it's creating the archive. Final Cut is creating the archive of all the clips that I just directed it to archive off of my SD card. So once I've selected the SD card, it's going to just go around and around until it's done it, um, importing. So I'm going to create a new event, file new event, and I'm going to name this event John's SD archive, which is exactly what my what I named my archive when I created it. So once I do that, I'm going to I, once I've created the event, I'm going to import that same archive that I just made onto my external drive. I'm going to locate it on my external drive, and you see I located it right there. All you have to do is hit that down arrow, and you don't have to select all the clips as long as you select just that one name there, the name of the archive, and it's highlighted blue and you go to import, you'll see a window will close and it will start, as you can see that those are all my clips from my SD cards from an, um, a film that I've been in the process of making. And now everything is, is starting to import. So that's basically how you can archive all your raw video clips from, when you're, from your SD card into one central file. Oh,